Today, Rad Dad opens G.I. Joe minifigures. We have six figures here. There's Roadblock, Snake Eyes, Duke, Cobra Commander, Destro, and the Red Ninja. And before I forget, uh, there was something on a previous episode that I did uh, where I opened up a, a Spawn comic book and it had a poster inside and I was pondering what to do with this poster. So it's a pretty cool poster. So I've decided what I'm going to do is give this away. So this poster along with the Spawn comic book can be yours for free. If you go over to Wonderland Comics, be the first person to ask for it, uh, Wonderland in Fresno, uh, starting, uh, say, tomorrow afternoon when I get that over there. So you can have that. And don't forget to uh, check out the, uh, the, the Toy and Collectible Outdoor Show on Sunday, April 11th at Wonderland. It's family friendly and it is free. So check that out. While you're over there, <laughs> take a look at the toys that Pablo has. He's got a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff and uh, Transformers, just all kinds of stuff. Things that you've never seen before. Some things you have seen, but check that out. And if you have a comic book that's got a few creases in it and dents need to be cleaned up, talk to Eric. Uh, you can reach him through Wonderland or uh, by the information I've got on the card right here. And he can make your comic books look, look a lot better for presentation or to send them off and be graded. Okay, let's head on to Roadblock here, first thing. Okay, now there's not a lot of information on the back of the car, just kind of where it was made and so forth. Um, and uh, there are no weapons with this. But uh, let's pop him open here. This guy is two and a half inches tall, uh, which is 128th scale. Uh, for comparison, uh, the uh, three and three quarter inch Joes are, whoops, 124th scale. The six inch classified Joes that have just come out are 112th scale, and the old 12 inch Joes are 16th scale. That means you multiply, say, for this guy, you would multiply. Uh, 28 times per inch. He's two and a half inches tall, so you multiply that by 28 times, and you have a full-size person. So this is not too bad. It's uh, I like the detail in the mold, and uh, the painting is pretty good. Now he's not articulated; he doesn't bend at all. But he, actually, he does kind of bend. The plastic is bendable, <laughs> but uh, it's not articulated, but it's also not that breakable either. He's in pretty good, it's pretty good. So that's Roadblock. Let's go with Snake Eyes here. He's the next one. So, let's see what kind of detail he has. Now he's got a backpack on there, which does not, is not removable. Uh, but he does look pretty cool. You can see his grenades. He's got a little bit of uh, painting, the knee pads there, and the mask. So, uh, these are dollar store figures that I got for a dollar a couple of days ago. Here's Duke. And, uh, and hopefully you can find these at the store still. They, they kind of disappeared quickly, I think. But uh, anyway, there's Duke. It's got nice, good detail in there. And uh, I know a lot of people think, oh, he's got no, de he's got no weapons. He doesn't, he's not articulated. But the cool thing is, they really did put some time, I think, in the mold. A lot of these things that you find don't have uh, anything with them, and they're, maybe they're articulated, but the paint is real sloppy and the plastic is crummy. But this is actually pretty good. Let's go on to Cobra Commander. So. The cons, I guess, would be that they aren't articulated, and like I said, there's no weapons. But the pro is, it's only a buck! There's Cobra Commander. 
You can see the buttons on his on his tunic, and he's got uh, he has a sword right here, right there. So it's not too bad. So a lot of other pros are that, uh, like I said, they have good plastic, I think, and good detail. And you can get all six of these things in your pocket. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. Uh, take them where you want to go. Uh, and uh, have a little battle there on the, on the table at the restaurant while you're waiting for your food. Uh, there's Destro. And here's a Red Ninja. Get this guy open. He's pretty cool. I can see about six of these guys in my mind. I can see six of these guys standing behind Cobra Commander as he's ranting and raving. So, even though they're not real bendable, it'd be kind of nice if they were in a pose with a pistol in your hand or something, but then you're probably going to double the price. So, anyway, there you go. I'm going to put all of these guys in my hand. So you can see them all at once and see that yes you can fit all six G.I. Joes in the palm of your hand and put them in your pocket and take it take them with you and have some fun and they are only a dollar if you can find them uh, I think they're probably going to disappear pretty quick so I'll tell you what since I'm giving away that comic book I will also give away these G.I. Joes and Cobras so the first person over at Wonderland to ask about these can have them for free. One, one per person, uh, one per person per week. Uh, you know, let's make it fair so everybody has a chance. So if you go in and you say, hey, I want, I want Roblox. Well, if he's there, you can have him free. Uh, so the comic book, the Spawn comic book and these Joes will be over there. One per person per week. And that's it. Uh, please check back with me and see what other toys I open up. And have a good day. This is Rad Dad saying, knowing is half the battle. Bye.